GTF What's good, what's going on? Another day, another video What's going on, GTF? What's going on? If you woke up today, you are blessed yeah. Know what I mean? If you woke up today, you are blessed Like I always say, man, no matter what you're going through if them two eyes open today, you were blessed. Facts. What's good though, man? Today, man, we vibing, you heard? We vibing. My homeboy hit me up today. He like, yo, let's go check out this car show. So I'm like, okay. I still gotta do a full review today, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going ahead and tie, try to tie the car show into the full review, you understand me? So we gonna go to the car show, and then after that, go get something to eat. Man, also, I just want to let y'all know, man, I don't know if I explained this before, man, because a lot of people been asking, like, the last three videos I gave y'all were not cheat code videos, they were just regular full review videos, you understand me, I just want to let y'all know that this channel is not solely based on cheat codes, you understand me, a lot of people been asking, man, yo, where the cheat codes, where the cheat code? where the cheat code? you feel me, this channel is not solely based on cheat codes, cheat codes is just one of the segments that we do as part of the full reviews, you feel me, we got... Cheat codes, we got grub on the half a dub, and we got the regular food reviews. I can't do cheat codes every day because some people are fans of just seeing the regular reviews as well. You feel me? Just like y'all keep when I do all the cheat codes all the time, the other people are like, yo, where the regular food reviews? Where the regular food reviews? You understand me? So y'all just gotta understand and take take that into accountability. But anyway, man, we on our way to this car show. GTF man, what's good, Jerry? We out here, man. We at the car show. This is a Porsche car show, by the way. So majority of everything you see out here is gonna be a Porsche, you understand me? Real talk, man. Everything gonna be a Porsche. Me, I'm sort of an old school man, but I like all type of cars as well. So this is really different for me. We had an all Porsche event, man. Let's take a look at some of these Porsches. Alright, so over here we got a singer. We got some Porsche singer. I don't know what year it is or what have you. But uh, allegedly that somebody was out here explaining to me, telling me that the singer is a you know is a version of a car what have you where the person whoever i don't know if that's the person named singer but he takes new porsches and make them you know give them that vintage look or whatever so from my understanding this is probably a newer porsche and they took it and make it look you know like an older a model porsche but it has a lot of upgrades in them a very nice car what have you look at the inside oh yes sir inside is powder coated got that green interior that seats say recaro this is very nice, a very nice color. I don't know if the camera does it any justice, but in person this color is very nice. I was talking to a guy here, and he said that this car is worth about 600000 right now. We're buying the car and doing all the upgrades and what have you. And as we know that the Porsches, the Porsches have the engines in the back, but I didn't know that the, you know, like they got something like the fuel tank is in the front, is in the, is in the trunk or the under the hood. I don't know, but this is very nice, man. So when I get home, or when I get some time, I'm gonna Google this, the singer. This is very nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, fam, apparently this singer Porsche is very nice, it's very popular, what have you, in the Porsche community. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta go look it up. But anyway, man, let's walk around to see what else is out here, man. Fam, I ain't gonna lie, boy. There's a lot of whips out here, boy. Behind me, what you looking at right now, behind me is a Porsche that apparently looks like they take it to go mudding. I guess when you got that kind of money, you could take a Porsche and drive it through the mud. Let's take a look at it real quick. Fam, I guess when you got that bread, you can take a Porsche and run it through the mud. This man ain't got a mud Porsche. I mean, I said this man ain't got a mud Porsche. See, they even got a tire on top of the Porsche. In this crazy year. You got that bread, you can take a Porsche and drive it through the mud. Feel like it been through the mud already. Got some mud on there. You understand me? Getting down and dirty. You feel me? They put that little mud on there just to let you know that ain't faking. You know what I mean? Ain't no faking. They really is they really are taking this Porsche through the mud. You know what I mean? Y'all see that man. Y'all see that man. People ain't playing no games. Damn, why this thing got such a short rear view mirror? Got that front, got that alien looking front. Fam, 
and they really take this portion more than look at the look at the mud flaps. Look at the mud flaps. And you got this one over here. Got a real colorful interior here. Yeah, sir. When you got that bread, you can run your Porsche through the mud. Look at the spoiler on this one right here. I ain't gonna lie to you, I bet this Porsche with a lot of bread too. You feel me? I don't really even like it like that because, you know, they got it set up for mud, for mud in or whatever. But I can tell it's worth some bread. All right, fam, here we go. Here's the owner of the Porsche setup over here to go mudding. How you doing, boss? How you doing? I'm great, my man. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Fam, can you, uh, sir, can you please explain to us, uh, I mean, this whole concept here? Because I've never seen a mud Porsche before. Yeah, well, it's, it's an 87 911 that uh, they take and uh, change the suspension, do some other things to it, uh, so you can go off-roading tires. And it's a whole setup. It's done by a company called the Keen Project. The Keen Project? Keen Project. Keen. Yeah. Yeah, there's about 30 cars already. Uh -huh. We get together every year in North Carolina and other places and, uh, and go off-road. Go off-road? On and off-road. Uh -huh. We slide them, we go through rivers. Uh, they're pretty amazing machines. What's, what's the experience like going off-roading with this type of vehicle? How is, how is it like? What, it's what is great, it like? they're solid. They, they go through anything, you'd be surprised. And they're a lot of fun because you're always drifting them on the turns. Uh -huh. Just good stuff. Okay, cool. And when well, you bought this car, did you buy it already set up like this, or you went and got it set up for this? I I I, I got it set up. You got it set up for this because you know the other way around is it takes forever. Uh -huh. If you want that builder to build that car, you know it's a few years out. Okay, okay. And one last question: Like, what made you go with this concept? Uh, I got introduced to it by somebody, and uh, you know I thought I I knew about having fun in cars until they took me on one of these. For real? Yeah. Okay, one more question. One more question, right? The last yeah. question that we ask is something we call drop them jewels, right? And drop them jewels is like, just to let the viewers know, what does a person have to do to be able to afford a vehicle that, like this? Oh, the jewels. They're, I tell you, it's between 100 and 200. 100 and 200? Yeah. Depending on what you do, when you do it. Okay, that's what's up, man. I appreciate you, man. Man. you, man. Take it easy. Bye. Fam, y'all see, man, that's the owner of this mud Porsche right here. Give y'all a quick little rundown of the mud, mud Porsche. My man said they go mudding in North Carolina. Said they're solid, all that, man. My man went in. He says a 1987 911. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, fam. And over here we got this beautiful red Porsche right here, man. What really caught my attention to this is these big wheels on here. These wheels are pretty big. You understand? What you said? Red Porsche. Don't even trip. That's blood, nigga. That's blood. What you need, nigga? Y'all see what's going on, man? This is very nice. I ain't gonna lie, this is a very nice Porsche right here, boy. I ain't gonna lie, this is my type of whip right here. You understand me? Besides uh, old school cars, this would be my type of vehicle right here, boy. This car is beautiful. Yeah, sir. Cream interior. Red with the cream interior. Custom brakes on there. Yes, for these 22s on here. R22, these 22s on here. Yeah, you know, I can't. I was gonna say, you know, I said, first, that nigga said, hey, yo, you think feet busy or ain't doing anything with it? I said, feet always on the fucking side, but you can give them a call, I don't know, you know? But you can't get a lot of help, I can do this shit. With a carbon fiber hood on here. This is a very beautiful car right here. I ain't even cap with you. Damn. This food vlog is gonna have a lot of vehicles in it. Let's see what's going on, fam. Excuse me, sir. 
Ten. Sorry. Thank you. Got the big custom brakes on here. I love it. I love it. This is my type of Porsche right here, too, man. All right, fam, we still out here, man. So many cars out here. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's beautiful out here, here, but at the same time, it's hot. You see your boy sweating. I don't know if you guys can see the sweat. You see the sweat on my forehead? Your boy putting in that work. You heard? Behind me, man. Look at this Porsche behind me. Very beautiful car. I have never seen a Porsche like this before. Let's take a look at it. Here you go, fam. Here you go, right here. I ain't never seen a Porsche like this before. You Anybody out there know what this Porsche is? Right here. You know, it's Carrera GT. It says right here. Right here. It says Carrera GT. I don't know what year it is, but it's a very different journey. Very different. Y'all see what's going on, fam. Y'all see what's going on. This color right here is beautiful, too. Y'all see the interior? Yeah, sir. Right here it says Z-Wick. Z-Wick. I don't know if that's the designer. They say she went right there. Yeah, sir. I mean, Y'all drop them comments if you, if you, if you mess with the footage, man. Where my car love is at? Okay, take a look at this one, man. As y'all know, with the Porsche, the motor in the back. You're, what y'all think, man? That was like an inner cooler right there, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Yes, sir. Y'all see what's going on. All right, fam, over here. I don't know if this used to be a race car or this is just a Porsche pace car. You understand me? What y'all see? Five. Porsches out there, man. 
But I ain't gonna lie, it feels good to be in the AC right now. Your boy was sweating out there, sweating profusely, you understand me? But you feel me? Sweating come with the grind, you know? When you putting in that work, you gonna sweat, you heard? So it's all good. I accept what come with the grind, you understand me? But yeah, man, great, great car content out there. You feel me? Beautiful Porsches. I saw that Singer Porsche. I saw a few other Porsches. You know what I mean? Definitely dope vehicles, man. Hope you guys can appreciate the cars or what have you. But right now, we about to go get something to eat, you heard? So we on our way today. We doing the cheat code, so we on our way to churches right now, man. Let go. All right, fam, we pulling in the churches right now, man. Y'all don't sleep on churches. Yeah. Some of y'all be sleep on churches, man. Facts. Y'all can't sleep on churches. Now nah, mess with churches. You heard? Not all churches, though. Some churches be tripping. Like the one over there off of like 54th Street. That church is buzz. You heard? Yes, hello. Is the chicken sandwiches ready? Huh? Are the chicken sandwiches ready? Okay, but I mean, I could order it right now, though, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so can I have uh one uh, church's chicken sandwich? Not this the the uh, the not the spicy, the original one. Uh. Nah, just the sandwich. Let me have the sandwich and let me get two of the um frosted frosted honey butter biscuits. Uh, yeah, that's all. All right, fam, we just pulled off from churches, man. You understand me? We got the grub. We got the grub here. I know a lot of y'all been missing the food. Uh, I say food. I know a lot of y'all been missing the cheat codes. I ain't do cheat codes in the last three days. I've been doing a regular food review. You understand me? So today, we gonna hit y'all up with a cheat code. Cheers. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to get y'all with a church's cheat code today. You understand me? Baby, we about to dig in here. What we got here? We got these two little small cups. And we got what's in the big box. Sure. Yes, sir. But yeah, fam, here go right here. Y'all see the contents of the box? What's the contents of the box? The church's chicken sandwich. I ain't going to lie. I don't really see much people talking about the church's chicken sandwich. But we about to try today. But we about to implement a cheat code with a germ. I didn't play the Chico. And then we got these two little boxes right here. I ain't about to open them right now. Y'all gonna have to watch the short form video. Y'all gonna have to watch the short form video to see what this cheat code consists of. What's in these two little boxes right here? You feel me? You gotta watch the short form video to figure it out. Do you understand me? Church's cheat code coming up, fam. Coming right up. We about to go ahead and start it. You understand me? Um, appreciate y'all for tuning in into this video, but you're going to have to see the results on the short form video dropping a couple of hours after this video. You understand me? Real talk. GTF for life. <laughs> 